Hi, this is Wanita McDowell from In Motion, and today I want to give you a few tips on how to spice up an ordinary email and really give it some pizzazz. Now, before I show this to you, I want to make sure to mention two things. Number one, whenever you're trying to spice up an email and you really want it to stand out, make sure you don't overdo it. Remember, the goal is just to grab someone's attention. And number two, make sure that you don't do this with every email. You just want to do it with those that are important that you want to stand out. So let's say you have an important event that you want to send out. It could be anything from an open house or wine and cheese event where you want to select just a few important people, or maybe it's a team picnic. Whatever the occasion, you can jazz up a plain email and make it look really snazzy. So as you can see, here's something plain. I want to show you how to take this email and maybe create something that looks more like this. As you can see, it stands out, grabs your attention, and it's really easy to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, let's go and start from the beginning, is you're going to select the format text tab in the ribbon. And you're going to select quick styles. And since I have wine and choose, cheese selected, and that's my event, I'm going to select title. And time and date would be a header, so I'm going to go ahead and select that as a heading one. And directions I'll choose as a heading two. Well, no, let's make that a heading one, two. Now, there you go. And as you can see, it already looks much better. Now, you can go to the change styles and select a style set. Notice as you hover, you get a live preview. And what I want to do is go ahead and select modern. Now, I'm not decided on the colors yet. As you can see, I have a choice of colors and fonts. What I would advise you do is go ahead, even before you select your style set, even if you want to, is go ahead, if you're going to have a little graphic or image in there, go ahead and select that before you choose your final color. So I'll go ahead and choose an image that I already have. There we go. Make it a little bit bigger. And I think I'm going to just give this a little bit of a shadow. And now I'm going to go back up to my style set and make other options. So go back to the format text, change styles, colors, and as you can see, you can hover your mouse again and choose a color. I think I'm going to go with Civic. Now, I can also change the font. And I happen to like Arial a lot, so I'm going to use Arial. And another little key is you can actually go to the Options tab on the ribbon and choose Page Color, and you can now choose the background color of this email. You can change it to something that you like. I think I'm going to go with this right here, the Brown Accent 4. So as you can see, you can really jazz up an email and make it stand out. One more tip is you can actually go to the Actions menu select new mail message using select more stationary from here you can actually have you have a choice of stationary that you can use and I just want you to be cautious because again not all email clients have any of these features and you also don't want to do this with every email but once you select something you like you can come down here and you can select vivid colors as well as active graphics and background colors and really get something that you like and it opens up your email and you're ready to type and then you can start the process here of making these look the way you want them to look and of course you can change the colors and graphics I hope this tip helps and I hope to see you in a Word Outlook class soon